If you do character voice stuff, you gotta have a good microphone to get work to keep your belly from a growling. From the mind of Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov. Double shrunk it down and made it really small. It's a complicated build, but you're gonna have a ball. It's like a U87 in a 103 body. It's a mic that sounds great. It's a power packed hot. I think it should be clear by now that I love building microphones. And one of the things I've wanted for a very long time was a U87 inside of a TLM-103 body. And that was impossible until now. Because Duffy over at Hula Cow Studios has created the ORS-87 Nano, which is a PCB, this little tiny PCB, that fits into a TLM-103 style body. So all you have to do is add a transformer and a capsule and this body and this board in these parts and you get this and i mean how cool is that i mean how cool is that the ors 87 nano now what could be better for character voice stuff what could be better for character voice stuff than a character voice microphone that was designed by a character voice actor because duffy duffy is amazing with his voices Duffy has, Duffy has like, Duffy is the man of a thousand personalities. So he's got so many great voices. And, and this is exactly the kind of mic that I want for this because it's not too girthy. It has a very nice, clear mid-range and clear top end. So th this sounds, this sounds great on character stuff. You can do everything with it. And this, let me just add though. That this is not a mic for everyone to build. This is an advanced intermediate slash advanced build. And I say that because it's so small. Here for reference, this is a quarter. It's how small this is. It is not an easy build because it's just everything's crammed together. And it even has a little cutout here for the transformer. How cool is that? So uh, inside this mic, inside my particular build here, is the Bifaley Black Ring. K87. Um, I also have the $18 AliExpress T13 uh, um, transformer in here, which is made by Deshang, um, which is a very widely respected transformer company. So, I mean, these, these are bargain parts, really. These are very inexpensive parts. Uh, and you, you yields this. I'm, again, I'm just, I'm over the moon. Um, and this, this build, right? I mean, again, look at all the parts in this. It's not that many, but they're all kind of crammed together like that. And once you kind of pull it off, it's, um, it's amazing. And what makes this even cooler, right? So again, this minus this with a transformer in it, this is the U87 vintage circuit stripped down. Uh, without the polar pattern switch, without the high pass filter, without the pad. But Duffy, <laughs> being the mad genius that he is, he has created daughter boards that allow you to add back the, the pad, the um, high pass filter, and he even created something that doesn't exist on the U87, which is brilliant. He created a brightness switch. Now, let me explain how this works. This is so cool. So if you look at this board, right, this little blue capacitor right here, right, this is a 220 picofarad capacitor. This capacitor right here, the job of this capacitor is to basically add a high-end EQ, uh, like a notch, really. So you are adding de-emphasis to the high-end in order to compensate for the bright high-end that is naturally uh, part of the, uh, it's a natural byproduct of a K87 style capsule. It has a very pronounced uh, high-end lift. And so in order to tame that, so it doesn't sound like something like ice picks, like being stabbed into your eye, you add a, uh, you add EQ, which is the, which is the brilliant thing about this project is that you can, you can add your own uh, EQ contour to the low end and the high end. This green capacitor right here, this is the low end. And this is the high end, the blue one, right? So what Duffy did is he created a daughter board that solders into this spot right here where this blue capacitor is. And it gives you the ability to add not just one capacitor for that, 
but two and switch between them. So you can add something, right, where you have a normal, regular, like, a, you know, a tamed top end. And then you can add a capacitor with a lower value, right? You could go, this is a 220, so I could go 220 here and then maybe 150 with the second one and then be able to switch between them. So I get a brighter mic if I want a brighter mic or when I need a brighter mic as an option, as a built-in option. That is really cool. So I am, I am really, I am a big fan of this mic because again, getting a U87 into a body like this is so cool. You can find this at Hula Cow Studios. There's a, there'll be a link in the uh, description. I'm pointing down something. You know, that. <laughs> there's a link coming. And uh, if you want to, if you want to uh, build this project, um, it would really help. It would help you a lot if you've built stuff before, because again, this is not a beginner project. There is very limited documentation, meaning no documentation. Duffy has a few notes on the project that will help you a lot. Um, but there's a, there's a schematic. There's a board. It's not that many parts. It's not that hard. If you know how to bias your FET, you are uh, definitely a couple of steps ahead of the game here. But um, overall, you can get something really amazing out of this for not a whole lot of money, which is the pretty cool part about it. So the ORS Nano, Hula Cow Studios. What do you think? Till next time, this is Mark Yoshimoto Nemka on the ORS 87 Nano, Fading the Blood. Don't be shrunk it down and made it really small. It's a complicated build, but you're gonna have a